for the circuit shown choose the dimensions of the transistors so that the propagation delay is the same as that of an inverter with pmos dimension w by l of 3 and nmos dimension w by l equal to 2 to size the transistors we start with pull down network for pull down network sizing consider paths from output to ground it is also called the output to VSS line. From the output to ground, two paths are there. Path 1 consists of transistors A and B to ground. Path 2 consists of transistors A, C and D. Path 1 has two transistors. Path 2 has three transistors. Transistor with input A is common to both the paths. Path 1 has transistor B and path 2 has transistors C and D. Transistor A is common for both the paths. Since the two paths have different number of transistors, we divide the pull down network into two parts. Transistor with the input A is common to both the paths that we divided into one part. The other part consists of two parts, one is with B and another one with CD. First we divide the total length effective W by L ratio of the NMOS devices between two parts. If Transistors are connected in series. The effective W by L is equal to 1 by L by W plus L by W plus L by W. That is the number of transistors connected in series. Here we have considered two parts. So the each part will provide an equivalent W by L equal to 1 by L by W plus L by W. To find W by L for each part, the equivalent W by L is 2 by 1. That is equal to 1 by L by W plus L by W. If it is simplified, we get 2 by 1 equal to 1 by 2L by W. That indicates W by L equal to 4 by 1. This indicates that each part of the pull down network provides an effective or individual W by L equal to 4 by 1. First part provides a W by L of 4 by 1. Second part equivalent W by L is 4 by 1. First part of the network is having only one transistor with the input A. So, the W by L is equal to 4 by 1. If we consider the second part, it has two parts. In case of path 1, only one transistor is there. So, it the equivalent or total W by L will be shared by transistor with the input B. So, transistor A will be having a W by L of 4 by 1. Transistor B will be having a W by L of 4 by 1. If we consider second path in part 2 of the pull down network. It has two transistors with the input C and D in series. The equivalent W by L provided by both C and D in series is 4 by 1. So W by L if they are connected in series, the equivalent W by L is equal to 1 by L by W plus L by W. Here only two transistors are there. So W by L equivalent equal to 1 by L by W of each transistor. This implies the total equivalent W by L is 4 by 1. That is equal to 1 by L by W plus L by W we get 1 by 
2L by W. This equation leads to W by L equal to 8 by 1. The W by L equal to 8 by 1 is for each transistor and it is individual W by L of transistors with input C and D. So 8 by 1, 8 by 1 is the sizing for transistors with inputs C and D. With this we completed the sizing of pull down network. Now we consider sizing of pull up network. For this we have to consider path from output to VDD or from VDD to output. For this case three paths are available. Path 1 has only one transistor with the input A. Path 2 has two transistors with the inputs B and C. Path 3 has two transistors with the input B and D. Paths 2 and 3 have common transistor B and in their path they are having transistors with the input C and D respectively. Both the paths have same number of transistors so grouping is not required. With a common transistor if the path have different number of transistors we have to group it for sizing. Here all the paths that is path 2 and path 3 are having same number of transistors so grouping is not required. Path 1 is having only one transistor so the equivalent W by L will be shared by that transistor alone. Path 1 has only one transistor so the equivalent W by L 3 by 1 will be shared by transistor with input A alone. So the size of transistor with input A is 3 by 1. Paths 2 and 3 have 2 transistors in series. The equivalent W by L will be 3 by 1 equal to 1 by L by W plus L by W. That is equal to 3 by 1 equal to 1 by 2L by W. That gives W by L equal to 6 by 1. Transistors with the inputs B, C, D have a sizing of 6 by 1. With this transistor sizing of equivalent W by L of N equal to 2 by 1. W equivalent W by L of P equal to 3 by 1 is completed.